Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out the McFarlane Toys, the Dark Knight Trilogy, uh, Christian Bale Batman figure. Is he as cool as everybody says he is? Let's find out. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collection. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Okay, here we have a closer look at the packaging. <clears throat> and man, let me tell you, if you're an inbox collector, this, this package displays very well. You can see everything that he comes with, and he comes with quite a bit. Um, you can see the legs, the grappling gun, um, three batterings which i'm always glad they throw extra stuff in but i'm thinking maybe maybe some extra hands would have been really nice uh instead of all these extra batterings i mean we really only need one uh honestly uh and they're really oversized for for you know the movie figure um uh and you can see uh bane's legs now i'm not going to be collecting the rest of this series um we just have the joker that we're going to be looking at um i didn't want to get i would love to have bane if, if they made Bane as a standalone figure, I would have bought him, but I didn't want to buy Harvey Dent and um, Scarecrow. I got this from Big Bad Toy Store, but my local bookstore did have, uh, my local Books A Million did have um, uh, Two-Face and Scarecrow. And the more I just stood there and looked at them, I was just like, I really don't want to spend $25 on these two figures just to get the Build-A-Figure parts. I didn't want to like waste the time having to sell them on eBay without the parts or whatever. But uh, there you have it. You can take a look at everything that's in the package. And then on the back, you can see a big picture of Bane, the Build-A-Figure, and then how to like put all the parts and pieces together uh, that he comes with. And then you can see posters for the cross sale: Batman, Joker, Harvey Dent, and Scarecrow. So let's get this guy opened up and uh, take a closer look at Christian Bale's Batman. Okay, here we have everything opened up and out of the package. Um, starting off first, obligatory display base. Nice, beautiful artwork. Um, uh, looks like uh, maybe a, a movie still, you know, not, not a still from the movie, but production art of actually uh, Christian Bell in the suit, which looks really nice. Uh, looks beautiful. And then on the background, real name Bruce Wayne. We all know that. If you want to um, pause and read the card, you can right there. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Uh, big accessories. Let's look at um, Bane's legs real quick. A um, little bit taller than Batman's legs, so we know Bane would be a little imposing. Uh, he does have uh, double-jointed knees, um, so he will be able to uh, kick back pretty far. I do appreciate McFarlane Toys um, cutting out a little bit of that thigh so that the leg can go all the way back. That's going to be nice. Uh, uh, no uh, upper boot swivel. Um, Big, thick ratchet joint on the top of the boot. Uh, some swivel, pivot, and some toe articulation. So uh, Bane's legs look great. Just don't have a Bane to go with them. Let's get those guys out of the way. We have uh, his grap... I believe it was pronounced grapnel gun uh, in, in the Dark Knight trilogy. But there it is. No paint on it at all. Just cast in gold. Uh, no black accents like there should be. And then a couple of these, a uh, couple or three of these bat um, batarangs, which look really nice. And they're cast in that same gold. And they look great. I thought this figure was completely black, but giving him under the bright lights, you can see that there is a lot of gray going on here. Um, lots of gray. It's not just a solid black figure, which I think I would have preferred uh, if it had just been all black and no... Um, shades of gray but that maybe that's just me you guys let me know in the comments down below what you would have preferred um i do think that the lightness <clears throat> is really good on this figure uh to me this does very much uh read as christian bale uh certain angles are a lot better than others uh but i really think that they did a great job considering how the new batman from flash the new batfleck from flash figure doesn't look anything like Ben Affleck. Uh, I think this is, on a scale of 1 to 10, we're at like a 9. They did a really good job. The eyes are painted good. Uh, the mouth is painted nicely. And it looks great. 
that belt is like super nice and gold and just looks super great nicely detailed looks really good um, pockets and gadgets all the way around the back lots of sculpted detail there's a nice padding texture um, to the suit underneath all of the pads which looks really great and uh, yeah this is just a great looking figure again i just wish it was a little darker and more black but when you get away from um the bright white lights uh and you just have him in the dark on the on this you know on your display base on on the on your on your shelf i don't think it's going to come across as as gray as possible uh as gray as it does here um i do probably want to get a custom um cape for this guy i just don't like the cape the cape to me is terrible i don't like how it's real thin here at the top and kind of you know it's almost not even visible uh at, from the waist up and you can only see it flare out a little bit um so i am going to be in the market for a custom cape uh for this guy because yeah he needs it i do like uh as far as the articulate or the articulation goes i do like that the head is separate uh from the neck which is great because not only does it give a better range of motion like that where you can look all the way up and then can look down even though it gives you a little unsightly gap um oh man oh wow that's crazy did my figure just come unglued like i thought that was an articulation but it is an articulation point uh up in there but the lower part just came completely unglued that's crazy so this is on an articulation joint right here, but this point should be glued in there. Look at that. Well, there we go. Some QC issues right off the bat. Um, that's nuts. The, there is no um, lower articulation point on the neck. Uh, it does not move around. The neck is solid, only the top of the neck uh, is articulated, which is fine by me because also it gives the silhouette of the same separated helmet that uh, cowl that he had in the movies uh, in the second film in The Dark Knight. So, um, wow, I'm really, I'm really kind of bummed out about that articulation joint right there in the diaphragm. Uh, as far as the shoulders go, he's got some rubbery shoulder pads that do get out of the way so you can go all the way around. Uh, as far as going up, you probably want to try to get them lifted up and over the cape, and then you can hit that T-pose, bicep swivel, double-jointed elbows, which look great. Nice um, punching fist hands. I really like. He does have a, um, uh, a gripping hand on this side for either the, uh, the grapnel gun. Let's see if we can get that in there. And that looks nice. Uh, man, I'm really bummed out about this articulation point coming loose. It looks great. It's not oversized. Uh, I think it looks really good. So I'm not going to complain there. Um, or you can probably get uh, a very oversized um, battering in his hand. So not bad. Uh, I'd like to go over the articulation at the stomach, but I feel like we've already done that. He can crouch. He can um, sort of bend down that far and... You know, I don't know how um, accurate it is, how far he can lean back because mine's completely unglued. So it's almost like I can't even review that part. Um, he does have the McFarland diaper and can kick forward about that far. And he can kick forward, kick back about that far, double jointed knees. So he can't kick his own butt, but he can get back pretty far. So he's gonna pose up nice on your shelf. Uh, and then some foot, Articulation, you got the hinge, you got the swivel, you got toe articulation, and uh, and there you have it. There is a closer look at my um, slightly bow legged uh, <laughs> man. I'm having some QC issues on this Batman. Uh, slightly bow legged and uh, non articulating or super hyper articulated uh, chest piece. So let's move this guy back just a little bit. Uh, get all the stuff out of the way. I do want to bring in a couple of comparisons. Um, here he is next to um, the uh, Justice League Batfleck uh, Batman in the, uh, in the in his armored look. 
and let's bring him in, uh, bring in the Robert Pattinson uh, Batman. Now, I do have a custom cape on this guy. It's wired and, and leather uh, material, uh, but uh, there he is. That's how he stacks up against his other movie uh, counterparts. Looking pretty decent. Um, really can't complain. Um, he's looking pretty good. So, yeah, he looks pretty good compared to these guys. You know, even... Um, with with Battinson being a little too buff and a little too big. But uh, there you have it. Now, uh, why don't we uh, get this guy into some extra poses, uh, get him into some lighting and some backdrops, and see how he poses up. Okay, QC issues aside, I dig this Batman. He does look nice. I think it's a good sculpt. It looks good. It looks like Christian Bale. Uh, I just got to glue that articulation joint back down, let it sit for a couple days. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, and, um, and get him a new cape. Um, I'm definitely going to have to get him a new cape for sure um, because this one is just not going to do it for me. But, uh, but yeah, he does look nice. I, 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 uh, I, I dig the sculpt. I dig the lightness. And I just think overall, you know, QC issues aside, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty decent looking figure, um, especially for 25 bucks. I mean, you can't, can't really beat that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Uh, you know, thanks for all the likes that you guys have been throwing my way and giving me all the views the last few weeks. It, it really means a lot to me. So please continue to keep that up and I'll keep knocking these videos out. Uh, please give us a like, a comment, a subscribe. Uh, you know, hit that bell notification icon so you know when new videos are coming out. Check us out over at Saturday Morning Toy Collector on Instagram. That's just Instagram.com slash Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And this has been the Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host mark and please remember that i will see you in the toy aisles